All right, today we're gonna to talk about some exercises that are gonna be specifically good if you have any kind of tendonitis going on at the knee. So this could mean uh, tendonitis going on with your quad tendon, maybe your patellar tendon, which is right below the kneecap. This could be your hamstring tendons, which would be behind the knee. Please excuse all of my bruises. I don't know where any of them came from. So we're gonna talk about a few exercises that are gonna be really good to load the tendons. So when you're having any kind of tendonitis or tendinosis, tendons really like and need load in order to heal and feel better. So these are safe to do when you have tendonitis and hopefully they'll actually get you feeling a little bit better. So two ways that we wanna load when you are having some tendonitis that's still a bit flared up are gonna be with eccentrics, which are a slow lengthening of the muscle, or isometrics, which is when you're holding a position so you have your muscles contracting, you got blood flow into the muscles, you're working them, but you're not moving through any kind of range of motion. So we'll start with one of my favorite isometrics, a wall sit. So we're gonna go over towards this wall and we're gonna do a nice little wall sit here. So this is a really easy exercise to do with very little equipment because all you need is a wall. You're gonna come down into a 90 degree bend at the knees and the hips and then you're just gonna hold here. So I would recommend using this wall sit as a 30 second hold and I would do it four times. If that feels too hard right now, Start off with a 10 second wall sit. Do it four times and work your way up. Second exercise is gonna be an eccentric squat. So you can choose what weight you wanna do this with or maybe you just start with body weight if this feels a little too difficult right now. I'm gonna start with using a dumbbell in this goblet squat position. And then we're gonna go really nice and slow on the descent of the squat. So we're gonna go down for three, two, one, and then you're gonna pop up for the count of one. So again, it's three, two, one, pop up. So it's this part, the slow lowering, that's really loading the tendons and is gonna be good for that knee. Third exercise is gonna be another, um, can be an isometric or an eccentric. I'll show you both ways. So if you're familiar with bear position, any of my yogis, you're gonna come onto a mat. You're gonna be on all fours, so your hands and your knees. And then you're gonna tuck your toes underneath you and you're gonna lift those knees about an inch or two off the ground. So this is bear position. So if you want this to be an isometric, you're just gonna hold here. Right, same thing, I would try and hold this one for 30 seconds, four times. Work your way up if you need to. That one is a uh, humbling exercise. Burns those quads pretty bad being in that position. So if you wanna switch this into an eccentric, spice it up a little bit. It's gonna be a slow lower your butt to your heels. So we're gonna start in that same position again. We're in bear position, and then we're gonna go three, two, one, back to starting position. Three, two, one, starting position. So I had a colleague call these reverse squats before. So you're basically bringing your butt to your heels in a bear position, similar to a squat, but you are on all fours instead. So those are also very humbling. They get very hard very quickly. I would do maybe a few sets of those, work your way up to a set of 10, maybe start with six to eight, and then work your way up. So those are three exercises, eccentrics, isometrics, to load the tendons and help you with some tendonitis that might be going on in your knees.